At Mastering.com, we often talk about three different dimensions of space in a mix. That's the top to bottom, there's the left and right, and then there's the front to back. With front to back, you can use volume to bring something up closer with more volume, less volume, make it appear farther away. You can do the same with compression to control the consistency of placing different instruments in that field. And one of the other ways that you can effectively create that front to back separation between instruments is with reverb decay times. A shorter reverb decay time will appear closer in a mix than one with longer decay times. So you can really shove something further back in a mix by setting a longer decay time and vice versa.